Hello and good day, we are highly welcome. Like I promised us in the first video, I said we are going to solve a practical question under the economic order quantity. And here we are today to solve this question. So, Charlie Cares Limited purchased a total of 10,000 units of material per annum. Ordering cost is 16 Naira and the purchase price of 5 Naira is fixed by the price control board. Annual carrying cost per stock of inventory is 40 Kobo. You are required to compute the EOQ, number of orders in a year, current cost of inventory, total cost of material that can be controlled, and total material cost for a year. Wow, 20 marks. So, we're going to treat this question and I believe you've watched extensively the first video I gave out, okay? Now, let me also bring to our notice that um, current cost as we have here is also the same as the, the holding cost, okay? So holding cost, current cost, they are, the, they are the same thing, okay? So take good note of that. So let us solve this question. In every question under the economic order quantity, the EOQ, the values you need will be given. So that is the main reason why I would like you to understand the first video very well, okay? Understand, watch that video very well and take note of the formulas. Then use it to apply to any question which you have under the economic order quantity. So let us solve. Number one. Number one says what we should solve the EOQ. So you title it as well, EOQ. So this is all we are solving. Now what is the formula I gave us? We we'll said Q is equal to the square root of 2DCO over H. So we are going to apply that here, okay? Now but before we go on, we need to interpret this question. We need to interpret the question first, then we know the value we are to make use of, okay? So let us interpret this question before we come back to solve this. It goes this way. They says Charlie Cares Limited purchased a total of 10,000 units of material per annum. So 10,000 here represents our annual demand, all right? So we have our annual demand, say annual demand. The annual demand is what, 10,000 units, okay? 10,000 units for the annual demand. So, ordering cost is 16 Naira. So we have our ordering cost. And the ordering cost is what? 16 Naira. And the purchase price of 5 Naira is fixed by the price control body. So the purchase price, purchase price is equal to what? 5 Naira. You see we have the values we need. Now, annual carrying cost per, you can see this now, per Naira of stock is 40 Kobo. So we have what? Carrying cost. Remember I told you that carrying cost is the same as holding cost. So take note of that. And they said is how much? 40 Kobo, right? 40 Kobo. Now there is something we need to do here. We need to convert this 40 Kobo to its Naira value, okay? And the fact that we are told that it is the cost per, one of it okay so we need to know get the actual price the actual cost of it so in order to treat this we are going to divide this value by 100 and we we'll multiply it by the purchase price and it gives us the real or the new value for the current cost so we'll go this way for the current cost we'll say 40 divided by 100 times 5 naira okay so 40 divided by 100 there yeah, gives us what 0 0.4 times 5 which is equal to 2 naira so it simply means that our current cost is 2 naira so wherever we have the value for current cost we we'll make use of 2 naira and not 40 cover again okay so let us come back to number one now the eoq economic order quantity so we we'll continue with the formula which says that q is equal to the square root of 2 dco over h so we're searching for q right so what is moving by the formula we have the square root we have two times d and what is d the annual demand it is what ten thousand units so we have ten thousand times co what is co the ordering cost the ordering cost and it is what 16 naira as you have here okay so we'll continue again q is equal to Sorry, before then, we still have one more thing, divided by 
H. And what is our H? H also means the current cost, all right? And what is our current cost in this question? We have 2. Because we've treated it and our final answer here is 2. So we have 2. So we'll continue with the formula. 2 times 10,000 times 16 is equal to 320,000. So this will be divided by 2. Okay? So we are going to treat this before we now get the square root. Alright? You treat this before you get the square root. So the next thing we'll do, we we'll say Q is equal to 320,000 divided by 2. It gives us 160,000. Now you can use your calculator to now punch and get the square root of 460,000. So Q is equal to the square root of 460,000. Now gives us what? 400. So we are solving for what? The EOQ, economic order quantity. So our answer here will end in units. So the answer to question number one is 400 units. It simply means that wherever we see Q in any of the formula, we represent it with what? 400 units. That is it about the first question. So we are done with this. The second one, number two. Question number two says, the number of orders in a year. So we we'll title again the number of orders in a year. Now, number of orders in a year is the same thing as the annual demand, okay? It is the same thing as the annual demand. And from the formula I gave us the other time, we said that it is D, which is the annual demand, divided by Q, which is the EOQ. So we we'll have D divide by Q. Okay? So, what is D? The annual demand. It is 10,000. 10,000 divided by Q. And what is Q? We've solved it in question number one and our EOQ is what? 400 units. So, we have 400. So, we divide these two values and it gives us what? 25. Now, take note, it says number of orders in a year. So, we're talking about how many times the good is being ordered. So our final answer is going to end in what? Times. So we'll have 10,000 divided by 400 is equal to 25 times. Okay? So this is it for question number 2. 25 times. So let us go to question number 3. And question number 3 says, current cost of inventory. Current cost of inventory. So we'll proceed. The formula as well, first of all, you write it down. Current costs of inventory. Current cost of inventory. So what is the formula? Remember I told us current cost and holding cost is the same. You can remember that vividly. So the formula here is what? We we'll have the quantity, EOQ rather, divided by 2 times H. Remember, current cost, holding cost, storage cost, they are all the same thing. Take good note of that. So, what is Q from what we've solved here? We have 400 divided by what? 2 times, what is H? H, which is our current cost, is what? 2, alright? So, we have 2, okay? So, 400 divided by 2 is 200 times 2. It is equal to what? 400. So, because we're dealing with costs, you can see what we have here, cost. So our final answer is equal to what? You add the Naira sign, 400 Naira. So that is it about question number one, question number two, and question number three. So let us go over to question number four and question number five, which says, total cost of materials that can be controlled. Total cost of materials that can be controlled. So let us solve that now total cost of materials that can be controlled. So we'll go this way. Okay. So number four. Total cost of materials. Material that can be controlled. Remember in the first video I gave us, I told us something about total cost or total inventory cost controllable and uncontrollable. So total cost of material that can be controlled simply talks about what? The total cost controllable. 
And what is the formula I told us? I gave us then D times C O over Q plus Q times H over 2. All right, I believe you remember this formula D times C O over Q plus Q times H over 2. So we we'll apply, we we'll follow the same step again. D, what is D? We we'll have our annual demand as 10,000 times what is CO? What is that CO? The CO there, which is what? The ordering cost is what? 16. You can see we are working with this. Divided by Q. And what is Q? From the first question we saw, remember, our Q was equal to 400 units. So let's take good note of that. The Q was 400 units. So we have 400. Plus, what is Q again? We have 400. Times H. Remember, holding cost, current cost are the same. And the H here is what? 2 divided by what? 2. So, we're going to break it down again. We have what? 10,000 times 16 gives us a total of what? 160,000. Okay? Divided by what? 400. Actually, I can go direct to get the final answer, but I need to break it down so you understand the steps. Okay? So, 160,000 divided by 400, which is 10,000 times 16, gave us 160,000. Divided by 400, we are done with this. We'll continue with the sign. Plus 400 times 2 is what? 800 divided by what? 2. So this value we have here, 160,000 divided by 400 is equal to what? 400. Plus 800 divided by 2 is equal to 400. So our answer here is what? 800. So because of the Naira sign, because we are told to look for the total cost, so our answer ends in Naira. We have 400 Naira. So let us go to the last question. Total material cost for a year. Number five. The total material cost. The total material cost. Here we will now talk about what? The uncontrollable total inventory cost uncontrollable. Remember the formula I gave us PD, which is P times D, plus D times C O over Q, plus Q times H over 2. We'll continue. We have PD, PD, right? Plus D times C O over Q, plus Q times H over 2. Alright? So, P, what is our purchase price? We have our purchase price as 5. So it is 5 times D. And what is D? D is the annual demand, which is 10,000. Then D times 10 plus, we have D times CO over Q. Remember, D times CO over Q. This is the value, right? You still remember this? Uh -huh. So when we multiply these two values, we got this divided by this. So this same value, we we'll have it here again, 160,000 over 400 plus Q times H over 2. Remember it was the same thing we did here, Q times H over 2, which is 400 times 2 divided by 2, which was 800 divided by 2. So we we'll have the same thing here again, all right? Then 5 times 10,000 is what? This is equal to 50,000 plus... Everything here, 160,000 divided by 400 gives us what? 400. Plus 800 divided by 2 gives us what? 400. So we'll now add up everything we have here. So which gives us what? 50,800. Now remember, it is the total cost, total material cost. So the final answer will be in what? In the Naira sign, all right? So it is 50,800. So, this is exactly how you should solve or treat any question under the EOQ. Just get the understanding. Repeat or rewind this video as many times as you can, as long as you understand what I've just done. Watch the introductory video. Watch this video. It gives you an edge. And any kind of question you see under the economic order quantity, you will attempt it, and I believe you will come out successful. So, in the next video, we are going to learn the labor costing. And... I have a lot for you there. Do have a good day.